take a look at uh, worksheet four of this series. Um, this is about the area of a trapezoid. Now the area of a trapezoid is a fascinating thing because its formula is so unique and different. Like when we look at this, we're like, what is that? Where did it come from? And uh, we're, we're triangles, squares, rectangles, <gasps> boring stuff. This is pretty interesting. So where does this thing come from? Well, first of all, a trapezoid, we've got to figure out what it is. It's a polygon, a quadrilateral, that has exactly one set of parallel sides. So, and we call them base one and base two. And then and they come in lots of different forms and shapes. Now, the idea is, um, how do we get make sense of that formula that we just saw there? And there's a couple of different ways, and they're pretty cool ways, to be honest with you. Uh, one way I call the doubling technique which is to basically take this guy and do a 180 rotation and flip it on its back. And if you do that, you get something that looks like this. And this is a, a, a parallelogram. Notice the parallelogram has uh, a base of B1 and B2. And that parallelogram has the original height. So that would be the area of the entire parallelogram we just made. But we only want half of that, the, the original trapezoid. And so, whoop, like magic, one half, B1 plus B2 times H. Wow. Let's take a look at this. Um, another technique, so this is doubling, so like repeating it. Another technique uh, shown, and these are shown in greater detail in the activity video if you want to watch that, um, also provided here. but but much more in detail, but I'm moving quickly, is uh, you could do what I call the halving technique, which is to cut it in half and do the same kind of uh, tricky little rotation guy there. This little piece drops in there, and you get, uh, in this case, a rectangular shape. It could be parallelogram-like shape, um, but you'll notice, again, the base is uh, B1 and B2. You'll notice that this time the height is exactly half of the original height. This is the formula once again uh, using kind of a halving technique. The last technique is one I refer to as composite, meaning um, the lots of little mini shapes inside. When some students see this shape, they think, oh, rectangles and triangles. Think just one shape, uh, it's the trapezoid. But to get the formula, we will cut it into small pieces and it will reveal that magical formula again. So we might think about uh, this maybe as two triangles, for instance. You might think of this as triangle one and two. You might think of this as a rectangle here and a triangle here. Uh, there's lots of ways to cut this up. You might even cut it up into lots of little or smaller pieces. The cool thing is this, if you, um, if you now discuss this in terms of bases and heights, the formula comes out. Let me show you. So the height here, so there are two triangles. The first one is B1 times H, but half of that, because that base and that height would be for triangle one. Triangle two would be also one half B2H, because its base is B2 and its height. Watch this, if I pull out one half H, if I factor it out because I noticed it's in both of those, I'm left with B1 and B2. Magically, bing, there's your formula. One more time just to show you kind of a cool situation here. Um, this would be a rectangle that would be a, a B1 times an H. So that's a little different. And then it would be this little triangle. Now what's tricky with this triangle is B2 is the entire uh, base, and I only need that part, and that part would be B2 take away minus the B1. So it would be 1 half B2 minus B1 times the height. This does not look anything like what we want, but a little bit of math will help us out. Take a look here. Um, let's multiply a few things out. We get 1 half. Uh, B2H, and we get minus one-half B1H by doing the distribution. This is where a little bit of magic, a little bit of algebra skills goes a long way. I have a B1H, one of them, and it says to subtract a half of a B1H. 
That together makes one half B1H, right? One of them minus a half is a half. And then here I am again, right back where I want to be. There is that, that spot in time. And then I pull out a one half H and bam, we're back on track. Lots of fun with this. Uh, enjoy uh, some of this, uh, some of these discoveries.